Mike is trying to make it clear that he had nothing to do with the murder. But Amelia claims he was acting sketchy the whole day before it went down. Hmm. According to hmm. her, Mike was acting nervous and texting someone all night. She then claimed that Mike even told the shooters to lay out of the house. I remember how Wait, you- what? Hey guys, welcome to Live in Color. What's good? Yo, we got this comment, man. That was very interesting, man. Shout out to David O Not Two. Shout out, fam. What's good? This man said. He said y'all should react to Pop Smoke Backdoor by Mike D. He said it's a new video, by the way, with new info. I said, ah, shit. Uh, whoa, new info? Like, sheesh. Let's get straight to it, fam. Let's see what's going on. Pop Smoke was one of the most promising up and coming rappers out of New York in a minute. He exploded onto the scene with tracks like Welcome to the Party and Dior and was on his way to becoming a certified icon before his tragic death in 2020. Reports originally said it was a robbery gone wrong, but now a woman who was in the house with him when he died is accusing Pop's day one, Mike D, of backdooring the rapper. Wait, so that female that was in the house when he died is accusing Mike D of having something to do with it. Oh, shit, you putting his name in the word? She think he backdoored Pop. Oh, there you go, this is gonna be a back and forth. Damn, now that's crazy right there. I wanna, I wanna hear the details. Yeah, let's hear it. Let's hear the details. Here's what's going on. On February 19th, 2020, Pop Smoke was murdered while staying at an Airbnb in the Hollywood Hills. Both dudes broke into a second story balcony just 10 minutes after Pop's guest left the house. Pop was in the shower at the time and the intruders put a gun to the woman's head who was staying with him. One of them told her, shut the f up, do you wanna die? Then she heard an altercation in the bathroom. Pop screamed and ran out of the shower Then someone let off a shot and he fell to the ground. While he was bleeding out on the floor, two of the men started kicking him. Pop managed to get back on his feet and run downstairs, but the shooter shot him two more times and he collapsed. The woman saw Pop lying on the ground and screamed at Mike D, who was also staying at the Airbnb, to call 911. Then the dude stole Pop's watch and fled the scene. On July 9th, 2020, two adult males and two minors got arrested for his murder. While locked up, one of the minors allegedly admitted to his cellmate in Juvie that he killed Pop for his Rolex. He told his cellmate that at first, everything was going smoothly and Pop was gonna hand over his jewelry. But then he tried to fight back and got pistol whipped and shot. It was also revealed that the day before Pop was killed, he posted photos to social media that showed the address of the Airbnb. He had gotten a gift and posted a photo to his IG story with the address of the house visible. This led police to believe that the thieves was monitoring the rapper online and saw the opportunity to rob him. But now, Pop's homie is being accused of setting him up. Damn. A woman named Amelia Rose recently came out and claimed to be the woman who was staying with Pop on the night he was killed. Oh, shit. She aired out the whole right story on Instagram and claims that Mike D betrayed his own friend. Now keep in mind, these is all just rumors right that, now, though? and none of her accusations been proven. Amelia started off her post by explaining how the situation's been affecting her for the past two years and why she ain't spoke up all this time. She said she was traumatized by the murder, and for the first year after it happened, she was so depressed that she barely remembers anything. Her mental state was so bad that at one point, she even attempted suicide. She then described- oh, she was the girl um, in the white covers that mm. had the covers around her. Yeah. Remember in that one shot? Mm -hmm. oh, was he, that was her right there. Ah, yep. oh, we saw that footage though. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's who's talking. I'm just trying to wrap my head around yeah, it. Okay. And for the first year after it happened, she was so depressed that she barely remembers anything. Her mental state was so bad that at one point, she even attempted suicide. She then described how seeing someone die for the first time changed her life completely. According to her story, she was laying in bed that night while Pop was in the bathroom. Then oh, the balcony that's door opened up office. and four okay. men came inside. One of them put a gun to her head, stole her bag with her phone and passport, and threatened to kill her if she ain't shut up. The other three dudes went to grab Pop out of the bathroom. Amelia heard him scream, then they brought Pop into the bedroom, and she locked eyes with him as the first shot went off. One of Man. the men stomped on his head, but Pop still jumped up and tried to run away. Damn, so she saw all this going down, that's what she's saying. Mm -hmm. Now, that's some wild shit, though. Mm. I could see if her story is true, I could see why she would be traumatized not to speak up if what she's saying is facts. Yeah. Because she's, I don't know her situation. Yeah. You know? That does sound crazy. The four men chasing down, and Amelia heard two more shots. She hid in the bathroom till the house was quiet. Then she went downstairs and found Pop laying on the ground without a pulse. According to Amelia, she was about to run to the neighbor's crib for help. 
but then she heard a noise and thought the dudes came back to kill her too. She hid behind the door, but it ended up being Pop's homie, Mike D. Mm. Even before Amelia Rose came forward with her story, fans accused Mike D of being involved in Pop's death. He posted the Airbnb's address on social media the day before the shooting, and some people believe he leaked it on purpose to let the shooters know where to go. Mike hopped on Instagram to defend himself and let everyone know how he really felt about Pop. He wrote, can't nothing express the pain I'm feeling. I just lost my brother. Y'all don't know what's going on. Y'all come on here playing investigator and bashing me on the internet. I would never in my life set my brother up. We ate together, broke bread together. This really my mother child. I don't gotta explain nothing to nobody. Mike is trying to make it clear that he had nothing to do with the murder. But Amelia claims he was acting sketchy the whole day before it went down. Mm. According to her, mm. Mike was acting nervous and texting someone all night. She wrote on Instagram, when we got home, you were talking to someone on the phone. Maybe you will tell everyone the truth. Who was the black woman who did set up? Who are the people involved in his murder? You know everything, I saw everything. She then claimed that Mike even told the shooters to lay out of the house. I remember how Wait, you looked what? out the window and- What she just said? Let us read it, hold on. I remember how you looked out the window and wrote to someone. He was acting suspect, that's what she's saying. She saying hold on. It then is, claimed hold on, let me, that Mike let me, even told the shooters to lay out of the house. Okay, pull it back, pull it back. <laughs> There's details, yeah, pull it back. Hold on, did you hear that? Kind of crazy. True, who was the black woman who did set up? Who were the people involved in his murder? You know everything, I saw everything. She then claimed that Mike even told the shooters to lay out of the house. I remember how you looked out the window and wrote to someone. It is from this window that you can see the stairs along which they climbed to the second floor. Wow. Two rooms overlook this balcony, and I wonder how they knew which room to go to. I'm see, sure that Mike was our issue. Yeah, that was a sketchy point. No, hold on. That was everybody's issue. Mm -hmm. How did the shooters know which room pot would be in exactly? From a staircase. Like, you know, this, this, this corner, this turn, this, this. Like, you got a, you know, a map type shit. I don't know. And man. he's here now at this particular time. See, the way I see it, I definitely feel like it was some inside work um because it was too accurate or if if it's not that whoever came to do the work knew exactly the the map they mapped out the place before they got there it could be that situation too yeah but it's like how do you know that that's pop's little spot that he's that's in. what i'm saying that's crazy how do you know he's gonna be exactly there even if somebody knew they mapped out the place and they knew pop was going to be there how you know where he's going to be at right now at this time mm -hmm. someone had to text somebody be like hey he's in this room right now come and check it out Damn. so the fact that she's saying this why i don't want to believe it I, i'm not saying i believe this shit. I, it just sounded like someone had to be like oh look why, why are you looking at the window at the same time mm. and texting like you're waiting for something to go down or, mm. or you know what i'm saying if what she's saying is true, because this is all alleged yeah, claims. It does sound crazy. It sounds crazy what she's saying, though. It sound crazy. ...and wrote to someone. It is from this window that you can see the stairs along which they climbed to the second floor. Damn. Two rooms overlook this balcony, and I wonder how they knew which room to go to. I'm sure, Mike, that it was you who gave them the information. Mm -hmm. Amelia and Pop's fans ain't the only ones who thought the situation was exactly. suspicious. Facts. Pop's older brother, Obasi, posted a message on Instagram in May 2021 that said, something's not right about this case. The info not matching, we all people moving like crazy. Bashar, on God, we getting to the bottom of it. I'm I sorry the real wasn't with you. I'm sorry you said niggas would shoot back and they didn't. <laughs> I'm sorry you thought niggas would fight for you oh. and they're not even doing that in depth. Oh, it seems crazy. you were more valuable alive. Everybody gets mad when I speak up because it threatens position in this gang shit. His brother not Since you've been lying, away, though. Pop, people's love have been MIA. Like Something do seem off, but if Mike D was involved, his motive ain't clear. Some rumors said it was all over money, but Amelia claims the intruders never mentioned money. According to her, all the news that he was naked in the shower is a lie. I didn't tell the detectives this information. They didn't tell him anything about money. They came quickly, killed him, and ran. Wait, so. She said about him in the shower naked. She said, oh, that, that's, that's scratch that out. Who said he was naked though? Who was giving that info? I did hear something about he, he was, was taking a shower. shower. I heard him even take a shower with jewelry. I heard, I heard a whole bunch of, a lot of them. She's like, yo, all that scratched out. All that naked in the shower is a lie. You know, but what seems sketchy to me is that this is this is the chick we thought gave the info too. Because remember, she was with Pop. Now she's saying, nah, it was Bestie that was looking sketchy the whole. It's up. See this back and forth shit. Because to me, it could be either. It could be either. 
I'm not saying she did anything. I'm not saying Mike D did. I'm just saying it could, we could look at it both ways, mm-hmm. you know? Because mm-hmm. they, they're they both in a situation where they could have done this. They could have done this sketchy shit to yeah, pop. Yeah, they could. They I'm have, not saying they did it, though, y'all. I'm saying they had more of a chance, too. To do it because they're in that position they're in the house with him they know his whereabouts yeah. they could give that outside information and be like hey this is where he gonna be at facts. you know that's facts. Damn, i don't know that's just all crazy though according to her all the news that he was naked in the shower is a lie Damn. i didn't tell the detectives this information they didn't tell him anything about money they came quickly killed him sound and like ran. a hit to me when she tells the story that's what she said. sounds more like a targeted hit than facts. a robbery. Pop and Mike D was like brothers though, and no one's come out with any proof that there was beef behind the scenes. Five people was arrested for the murder, but only four of them got charged. 19-year-old Corey Walker and 18-year-old Keandre Rogers are both facing life in prison if they convicted. According to police, Walker, Rogers, and the two unidentified minors are all in the same gang and targeted Pop from Instagram posts. The police planted a mic in one of the minor cells and caught him telling the celly that they was after Pop's Rolex and Cuban link chain. Then an informant was put in Walker's cell, who recorded him saying they used ski masks, gloves, and a police scanner to get away with the robbery. Walker's lawyer argued that his murder charge should be dropped. See, this is my issue with 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 these um, with the gang members. I'm not saying it's impossible uh, for people to get your location and and get you knocked out. Like I'm not saying that's impossible. It's it's, it's the fact that how do they know where he was gonna be at? They said, okay, oh, we just wanted his jewelry. That's that's what they saying. Mm-hmm. That's why we came over there. We didn't want to kill him. That's mm-hmm. what they said, right? Yeah, that's what I'm hearing, yeah. Okay, but you got there. There was a fight, whatever. You guys killed Pop. Okay, but at the end of the day, like, how did he, you guys know where he was going to be at? Even if you guys didn't know the, the dude's location. Y'all didn't search all over the house. Y'all went exactly to that stairway case and to, yeah, that, that led to his room. Y'all knew where he was going to be cause, at. Because things could have moved differently. They just say, like, you going door to door. Where is he been at? That's what somebody I just said. Else, you know what I'm saying? Somebody else probably had, had a gun and who knows? It probably would have been some shooting and slow every process down. Who knows? We probably would have had pop here. But the fact that it's more direct, I got straight to the room, shot him, and I fleed out. It was just too simple and like, damn. I don't get it. Because he wasn't even in the house. He claims that his client was just the driver and that he even told the other dudes to hit Pop with a flower vase or something if they had to, but not to shoot him. After the rest of the crew got back to the car, Walker allegedly assaulted a 15-year-old shooter for killing Pop. Amelia Rose claims that it was a straight-up murder, but this evidence say otherwise. Most rappers who get killed end up dying in their hometown. A 2022 report found that at least 75% of rappers killed since 1987 was murdered in the city they grew up in. This data makes it seem Damn, more likely that wild. the murder was a lick going wrong, not a targeted hit, because Pop wasn't known to be beefing with anyone in LA. But even if Pop's murder wasn't premeditated, being a rapper is still more dangerous than ever. It in is. the last six years alone, more artists have been killed than in the last decade and a half. There still ain't no concrete mm. evidence to disprove what the prosecutors have said about the case. But Amelia Rose told Mike D on her Instagram post, prison is waiting for you and it's inevitable. Oh, Detectives are sure that someone from the house was in control of the situation. But she not letting go. She felt something about Mike. I don't know what it is. Yeah, she feeling something strong. The fact that she's saying like, yo, I, I just feel something ain't right about you. You know when you could peep someone energy? She probably felt like the energy was off that day. Like the nigga looking out the window, you looking at your phone, you looking paranoid. Probably having flashbacks if this all let That's what I'm true. saying. We don't know what, why she felt like that, but that sound crazy. energy never lies. If you feel somebody moving different, they looking out the window, they sitting next to mm. you and you're like, yo, what's, what's, what's up with you? You know what I'm saying? I don't know, I y'all. Know. It sound crazy. How she felt. She also implied that more people were involved and are still out on the streets. The cops don't believe the murder was gang related, but some people ain't so sure. Pop was affiliated with the 823 Crips, GS9, and the Wu, a Brooklyn gang that's made up of several different sets. The Wu's beef with another gang called the Trolls, and rumors say his death might be linked to the war between the two gangs. The rumor about Pop's death being tied to his street affiliations picked up more steam when someone vandalized his grave in September 2021. TMZ broke the story that, that someone smashed Pop's up. crib and we tried to steal his that. casket. A marble plaque with his name on it was also destroyed, and they also left a partially smoked joint on the ground. Yeah. No one was ever arrested Whoa. for it, but rumors say it was his ops from Brooklyn. Unless Amelia Rose actually knows more details about the case than everyone else, it seems like the authorities are moving forward with the idea that it was just a random robbery. If Pop was set up by his own people. But you know what makes it tough? Although, 
the fact that we know Pop Smoke was gay. We mm-hmm. know he was gay. But see, what makes it difficult is it could it could be a target hit, like we said, from one of the gang members, mm-hmm. one of his ops. Mm-hmm. But then again, it could be someone in, like a friend. It could be someone in the house that really know Pop at the same time. That's why it's tough when, when folks are gang affiliated because you don't know where the hit coming from. Yeah, big facts. Because if he was in gang and some shit happened, now we can look deeper into the situation. Yeah, you can kind of like, you, you see know, what I'm saying? separate the thing. That's now. what I'm saying. It gets blurry because, okay, if you gang, okay, if one of your ops do some shit to you, I mean, if, if something happened to you, what people going to think? Oh, it's probably one of the ops. ops. You ain't right. thinking, oh, it's one of the homies. You see what I'm saying? That's right. It's tough. All right, that's right. I don't know. That's People, right. it wouldn't be the first time a rapper was betrayed by his homie. That's what I'm saying. But for now, you the evidence know. don't support that rumor. Pop's death was it's a always huge blow blurry. to the hip hop community. He only started recording music in 2018, and by the time he died, he was on his way to the top. Bad. Besides what he could have accomplished with his music, Pop also wanted to inspire young kids to take a better path than getting involved in the streets. Pop was in the streets from a young age and got expelled in eighth grade for bringing a gun to school. He spent his life in the trenches, but before he died, his homie said he wanted to be a better person. He was even planning to create a foundation called Shoot for the Stars to help kids in the inner city make it out. He died before it launched, but his family moved forward with the foundation after his death. More details about Pop's murder will come out once the trials for his alleged killers begin. But for now, it looks like the prosecutors believe they got enough evidence to convict the four suspects. If anything Amelia Rose said is true, hmm. it's gonna be brought up in court. Hopefully, it'll also bring fans and family members closure for this tragic loss. Rest in peace to Pop Smoke. Yeah, Gone, sure. but not forgotten. You know what I hate though? Yeah. Every, every time I feel like we get somewhere, the lines get more blurry. Yeah, it gets blurry. Cause if what this Amelia girl is saying is true, then we gotta look at Mike D. Now, if Mike D really ain't got nothing to do with it, we gotta look at Shorty. Mm-hmm. Cause at the end of the day, these these are humans. People lie all the time. We don't know what the fuck going on. That's facts. You know what man. I'm saying? Let but the know. truth gonna come out one way or another. That's what I know. Facts. Let me know what y'all think. All right, people, smoke. Real talk. Love and color, fam. We is out.